What's going on, everybody? Mr. Harvey Drew with our Stardew Valley Day 15 Monday, uh, Year 1 Fall. So let's go and get some geodes broken, toss all these stains in our chest as well, and then get the weather report for tomorrow. A fortune teller for today. Great, gr fantastic, like plus 5 to luck today, so it's very good. It's going to be clear and sunny tomorrow, perfect for the Stardew Valley Fair. Right, that's tomorrow. Ooh, let's let's take a look. And then the tip for the day is: got any trappers? Crafty foragers know how to build them. You can attach them to wild trees. Tappers. That says trappers for a second. Tappers. And then you'll get some maple syrup, oak trees, pine pine resin, and then the other one purchases pine tar. Hmm. Syrup's the most valuable, but all of them. Our tree products are how their uses. All right, good to know. So, oh, and we got a letter here as well. Mary Lewis, Mary Lewis, dear Drew, I just wanted to remind you that the Stardew Fair is, ha is happening tomorrow. Don't forget to bring your nine items for the garage display. Remember, the fair starts at 9 a.m. in the town square. See you there, Mary Lewis. So, we got Mary Lewis going for us. Let's grab our stuff out of our chest down here that we just recently moved. And we don't have this. So let's go and bank some of the stuff, I guess, first. Let's toss the monster stuff with the monster stuff. We'll keep that for the thing and that with that. Okay, so let's go and grab this right here. We'll pop these guys in here. This coffee bean we might want to save, so we'll put that in our save thing. This right here, we want to toss in here as well. Hmm. We don't have enough room now. Trash. Let's take that trash out. And then we'll pop one of these dwarven scrolls up there. Stones. That works for me. Head back over here. Pop this coffee bean in there for later on. This trash can go in here as well. Let's get our little doggy some water. And say hello to her. Hello, how are you doing today? Good to see you. And head on over to grab our milk pail. Milk pail. Say hello to these chicks. Hey, how you doing, chickies? What's going on? Oh, Cuffy, good to see you. Thank you for your eggy. And let us head. Chicks, you guys have a good day. And grab these up in here. Say hello to our little goats. We just milked them yesterday, so the goats won't have anything. There we go. Thank you very much. But the cows produce milk every day, which is good. And let's let these ladies out. You ladies have a good day. Heard you have fun yesterday. <laughs> uh, let's just, you know. All right, I'll, I'll stop. Let's go check the bats out and see if the bats got anything today. And, okay, all right, not bad. Somberry. Wild plums. And tomorrow we definitely have to get ready for that Stardew there after we water our plants. Oh, we speaking of water, we are out of it. Get one of these on and then one more. No. Let's go grab some water real quick. I think we should actually, I have an idea for this. Let's get our scythe out. And then let's go inside our barn real quick. And let's do this. Can I grab stuff out? I can't grab anything out of the hay, hay thing. Can I take directly out of silo? You can't. Interesting. Okay, so I was going to go into the silo and just get a whole bunch of hay out of it. But I guess not. So we have to build another silo before the end of the year. Because I want at least two silos built and filled before the season starts over. Because I want to make sure we're really prepared for winter. 
Alright, so let's get going here with these. Watering. Head on up with this. Keep on going across. And then we can head down now. Nope. Not a perfect day, unfortunately. Very rarely. I think I've only gotten one perfect watering day this whole time. Alright, what else do we want to do? Oh, grab some more water, I guess. We could build another barn, but I think the... These crops are going to be done tomorrow, and we can sell them overnight. Yeah, I think they'll be done tomorrow, these cranberries. And let's head down here. The good news is about upgrading this watering can the last time is that it takes three waters to go all the way through. Two waters to go all the way through, and last time it took three. So it is getting better in the watering can department itself. But it does take almost all of our energy to do it. Which is kind of a bummer. So we want to pick up our axe today. And we also want to go back into the mines and continue going for stuff. Oh, we should give our quartz. Did she did that quest fall off yet? Let's get that refined quartz for Gus. So I don't forget. And then we'll do some more... Let's see if the quest board's got anything else on it. After we talk to Clint and get our axe. I guess we could also get another tool upgrade, like the hoe to silt to iron. Hmm. That's not a bad idea. Let's grab some iron ore out. Where's my iron? Iron right here. Five more iron out. Fantastic. Let's build some more bombs while I'm thinking about this. And we'll toss these in our inventory chest. Bam. So we have eight in our inventory chest so far. Good, good. Let's head over to Clint's. We'll take the rail over there. We'll drop our hoe off. Town. There we go. We should be picking it up now. Yeah, our axe. Fantastic. Thank you. And then we'll drop process and geodes while we're at it. That's new to us, I think. Flora Patty and some copper ore. That's cool. And let's grab an upgrade. Yeah, the iridium stuff we can't build yet, but we can do. The steel hoe. So let's do a steel hoe right now. Swap this scythe over for our golden axe. And we can start clearing out our farm actually as well today. But I think we're going to do that not today, but tomorrow maybe. So it's a museum. Another one of these guys. And another one of these guys. Good deal. Cool, cool. Let's see what these rewards are. Collect reward. A bear statue and a dwarfish translation guide. Interesting. We might actually, our pickaxe, let's go to the mines real quick. Because that just reminded me, there is that rock that we haven't broken down yet. Now, I don't know if we need an iridium axe to that or if we can just get. Oh, bust that. That's not what I wanted. I wanted the mines. Can I break our this with our pickaxe? 
Oh, we can. Hey, we can't talk to the guy over here. This is a dwarf, I think. Dwarf. I got all the stuff from the surface. I just take it from your people during the night. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Hmm, what is this concept you call private property? 600 for bombs, not bad. Mega bombs are a thousand. Miner's treat. Plus three. Magnetism. Oh, this isn't bad. Mag that's, not, that's not bad. Oh, a rare crow. Let's get that, actually. There we go. Fantastic. Stone cabin. Decorate your Karen. Is that like a poop? Carrion. I don't know. Weathered for a recipe. I think I'll take it. Why not? And then we've got Elixir of Life, which you can get, I think, at the... No, I don't think you can get this at the... the bombs. Cherry Bomb. Okay. And I think that's it. So let's go and... So we get bombs for 600 we can buy from him. That's that's a good... No, that's good for our knowledge right there. Let's... Do you want to head down to the mines further and grab some more stuff? Let's go break some stuff up in our our base. Let's go clear out all the stuff in our base. That could be a better use of our time. Oh, we should also drop us off at the community center and the quest. Refine quartz. So grab the refine quartz. We'll see what the other quest is about. Refine quartz is where? 33. Yep, there we go. We're going to throw a rare crow up here while we're at it. And this one. Yep. So now we have like three rare crows. That's really good. That's really exciting, actually. All right. Let's talk. Let's go to town real quick. Do, 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 do. No other quests. Let's go talk to Gus real quick. I think he's at his barn right now. Hello, Emily. How you doing? I think Emily's a bartender. Or Gus's daughter or something, maybe? There we go. Hello, hello, Drew. You brought me the item I asked for. Thank you so much. Here's a little something for your trouble. Thanks, Gus. 150 gold, you should have. That was actually pretty awesome. Yeah, I think she's a bartender, Emily. Nothing wrong with that. Let's start mining up the mi the farm real quick. And then we gotta get ready for the good old fair. Because tomorrow's pretty much gonna be a wash for stuff to do. So let's go and go go get stuff, I guess. Here we go. Let's grab this guy. Eight hardwood. Ooh, that was nice. Eat some of these salmon berries. What else we got? Another salmon berry. Any other ones? Some plums. We can get these plums going. We can also go and check out the community center while we're thinking about it as well. Basically, if it's not grass right at this point, I want it to be grass because all the grass is going to die off, so we won't have to worry about it in winter time. I think that's what happens. I we're almost as far as I've gone in this game right now. So we're, we're about to hear at unknown territory. I have only been to the desert once and that was it. I mean, I, I went to Skull Cavern. I think it passed out in the middle of the night because I just was like enthralled with how deep you can go in it. I couldn't find the bottom. I don't know though. I don't know if there's even a bottom of Skull Cavern. And there we go. Good deal. Let's 
pretty cool. Get this out of here. Pop these off. these guys and I think that's it let's just run through the middle real quick I want to put another barn like right over here just like right south of this one so we probably want to measure that out now that would be a nice spot to do yeah we want to put one like in this area right here So we might look into doing that tomorrow, possibly, or the day after. So let's just clear this out. Maybe go a little higher as well. There we go. So this is a good enough area, I think, right here for the barn to go into. Not exactly sure where I want to put it, but that's a good spot, I guess, for right now. And another coop down near that same barn. Let's go drop these items off real quick. Not bad. Oh, yeah, bear statue. I forgot all about that. And we also picked up something else, right? Gave us a bear statue. Oh, and the language. The language as well. So let's toss this bear statue. Wow. This guy's big. This is a big, big guy. Will that fit? Oh, <laughs> it fits right in front of our campfire. That's fine. Our fireplace. That's fine. Let's go check out our community center real quick because we still have another 30 minutes or so. Not 30 minutes, but 3 hours or so. And see if we can drop this winter forageable down off of at the community center. Let's see if we can grab that on our way back, I guess, as well. Alright. Do we have... We already have one. Okay, so we need the yam and the cork, cork, corcus? Corcus. And then we'll have the bridge done, and then we only need wool or a duck egg. So hopefully the ducks grow up tomorrow and they'll start laying eggs the following day. And we'll have those going for us. Blackberries, fantastic. And let's head back down to home and go to sleep. I'm getting excited for the Saturday Fair tomorrow. I hope we win because I've been saving all of our Gold Star stuff with that fair in mind. And I think there's a, another rare crow we can get from it as well, so that, that's going to be cool too. So with that, I am going to call it a day. I'd like to thank you guys all for watching. Wait, hold on. Do we level? Nah, we don't level. Okay, it's fine. Oh, this is actually a cool statue. Thank you guys all for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day or night, and ta-ta for now. See you guys again later today, the 16th. See you soon.